Welcome back to Lida's shop. Last week we did a video on the build of the lumber rack here in my shop. It's really nice, really efficient. Here's a link somewhere above on the side. I'm not sure where it'll pop up, but it'll pop up. You can click on that to see the full video of the build. But here's a little snapshot of the build. So that was a little snippet of the build last week. I used plywood and two by fours for the construction. I used nails and screws. I did get one question about the nails and the screws. Um, let me show you a little what, what I'm talking about. All right, I did use a nail and a screw here. There's no apparent reason besides I was just trying to use up my nails here. Um, I don't think it adds anything to it. I don't think it takes anything away from it. And so my lumber rack is actually eight and a half feet off the finished floor. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to lay a full sheet of plywood here when I wanted to. And that lumber rack wouldn't stop me from doing that. And you got to remember, I have 16 foot high ceilings in my shop. So let me show you the lumber rack a little more in detail. C come on up here. So my lumber rack is really, wait, you, you got to come up. What? Oh, okay. Let me help you. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't think about you. L let me help you up. <sighs> all right. So my lumber rack, I have five supports that go all the way across. That allows me getting 16 foot of material. Each one of these is actually on 32 inch center instead of 16. 16 would be here. I just thought it was just too much versus this holds up the weight really well. I can hang off these. All right, let's, let's get back down. It's a little high. That's better. So yes, I do need a ladder to get to it, my material. I don't use this material very much. It's more of my excess go-to when I want a special project. So I'm not using this material every single day. Uh, material I use every day will stay on my back wall, which you guys will keep seeing in the videos. That's my go-to material every day. My tip for the week is actually about keeping your floor space clean and clear and organized enough so when you want to do a project, you know where your wood is, you know what you want to accomplish, and your shop's clean enough to keep it to do the project that you're trying to achieve. It makes it so much easier, less stressful, and you get the job done faster and more efficiently if you try to keep it clean. I know it's hard because we all love to collect wood and tools and everything else, but if it's all organized, you're going to be way better off in the end. So next week, I have a video about a machine that I actually assembled here in my shop. So stay tuned for next week for that. And get out of your shops and do something.